Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production star and myself, the Water Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is blame it on the moon. One thing that cannot be overstated is that there are no coincidences. And we're seeing this with a quote unquote recession. And we're also seeing it with a rise in racial tension, which is a quadrennial strategy by those of the right. And it's not to pick on them because I know the left or the right does not have the interest of anybody at heart. But that's a strategy that's near and dear to them. Now, you have to understand there is a small think tank, but there's one nonetheless of occultists. And they go by numerology and astrology. And what you're going to be seeing is, of course, another satanic panic, racial tension that will escalate into a war in small towns, particularly in the Midwest and the South. But we don't look at the moon. Why is the moon important? Because the moon deals with currents, emotional currents. That is what the moon deals with. And it doesn't take much when that's juxtaposed with a recession, with how you're going to eat, how you're going to feed your family, and low-paying jobs. It only takes one trigger to initiate or direct an response. This can get your agenda to go even quicker. Now, last year was the tragedy that happened at Astroworld. But when did it happen? It happened when the moon was in Scorpio. Now, that moon is very important if you want to do any baneful ritual. The moon in Scorpio and the moon in Capricorn. And it's a very high point for the occult, but also death and rebirth and regeneration. Now, we're going to do a little exercise. When did the shooting in Buffalo happen? It happened over the past weekend, May the 14th. That moon was in Scorpio, too, for those that didn't know that. And last month, what happened in Brooklyn? And I want people to pay very attention, close attention, excuse me, to this. The moon was in Leo. Why is this important? Because Leo deals with the heart, high blood pressure, strength, nationalism, and also back. Now, Frank James, the shooter, suffered from what? Mental illness, even though his sister says her brother wasn't mentally ill. But I will leave that to you. Even though they didn't have, they had a strained relationship. But she said her brother never had a history of mental health. And then, besides post-traumatic stress and the bad back, he goes in New York. Now, remember, New York is, that's a police city. And he said, off the record, that all his troubles really began, because basically he really was in Milwaukee, but all his problems really began in New Jersey and New York. That's when all his problems began. And then those people were wounded and it was just a massacre, pretty much, or an attempt to do one. But what's important is this. Travis Scott, Moon and Scorpio. What happened in Buffalo? Moon and Scorpio. Then you had the moon in Leo. There are no coincidences when it comes to the moon. None. And you also have to understand the election primaries are going on. So what's going to happen? tougher registration, and then you have to listen. This is where the satanic panic part comes in because a lot of people are going to be talking about this foolishness about the end times, the rapture, etc. That's not happening. What basically, if you want to look to how the United States of America is going to be, all you have to do is look at China and the way their policies are set. And it's a movie that I think people should see from a metaphysical point of view. 
and that's the first Avengers. Now, if anyone remembered it, what did Loki tell the crowd before a Holocaust survivor had stood up? He told them slavery is freedom. That's Orwellian. And he told them, you know, this is what it is. And the Holocaust survivor has said, I've ran into men like you before. Loki's like, there are no men like me. And his remark that rung so true was, there will always be men like you. We've seen them time and time again. There will always be despots. There will always be tyrants. There's, there's always going to be that. And Jesus ain't coming to save the day and neither is Allah. So you can stop with that. That's not going to save the day. But they're playing on the racial fears. The next time you do your research and you read some of these papers, don't focus on the information. Gloss over it, but read the comments when people make them. What does it come down to? Blacks are the problem. We have to take America back. The Democrats have ruined the country and Jesus is still a big deal. Nothing can be further from the truth. Nothing can be further from the truth. These are occult rituals that are happening and it doesn't have anything to do with Satan or Mephisto or Belial. It doesn't have anything to do with that. Did you know that once you combine science and you cre create agrigores, you pretty much can do whatever you want. Don't believe me? Read the PSYOPs article by former Temple of Set Magus, Michael Aquino. Combining science with magic. That's free online, a PDF. You can read that. So they're escalating this war. And this is one more point I want to make about Frank James. And this is from an article in The Insider. Who was he supposed to be, I guess, jail buddies with in a close association? None other than R. Kelly. So you heard it here first. So that's what's going to go on. One tragedy in the moon in Scorpio last year at World. One this year, May 14th. One in Leo. And all of them were done by people that were triggered. And the mental health industry is going to keep failing because the mental health industry is not set up to really help you. They're set up to have you become a prescription drug addict. Nothing more, nothing less. So, guess you just have to blame it on the moon. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.